What's up guys, I'm James. Welcome back to the Great Gambino channel. Today we're going to take a look at the Orion One Blue. If you do end up liking this video, consider subscribing or clicking that like button as it really does help me out and motivates me to keep pushing this channel forward. Also, make sure to stick around until the end because I always finish my videos off with some nice outdoor shots to show you that natural light reflection. Now this piece was generously lent out to me by my cousin Sam on the East Coast. Sam is affiliated with the Facebook group Watcha. It's a great place to share your watch journey and network with other passionate people in the watch community. I'll have a link down below if you have a minute, definitely check them out. But let's go ahead and remove this piece from the box so we can take a closer look. The Orion brand is created and owned by Nick Harris, who is a certified professional watchmaker. I talked more about him and the goal of the company in my last video review of the Orion Calamity. If you'd like to know more, click on the link for that video in the description. This model is special because it's part of Orion's history, as it was the first watch in the line, hence the name Orion One. The goal with this piece was to create a robust and dressy watch that can handle an assortment of environments. Let's check out the measurements. We have a diameter of 38 millimeters. Lug to lug is 49 millimeters. If you want to change out the band, it's going to be 20 millimeters. And we have a case thickness of 13.3 millimeters. The crown is stamped with the Orion logo, and that's a screw down crown as this piece offers 100 meters of water resistance. Looking at the side shot, we can see the beautiful knurling job on the edge. But let's go ahead and listen to what the winding mechanism sounds like. The fixed polished bezel looks very nice and ties in with the overall classic theme. This model also comes with the option of a fluted bezel if you prefer a slightly more eye-catching design. The 316L steel case finishing is listed on the website as the classic, which consists of polished sides and brushed lug tops. We also see that the lugs are drilled for easy band removal, and you can see here that the lugs are a little on the longer side. This was a decision made by Orion to accommodate many different wrist sizes. The glass is domed sapphire with a blue AR coating on the underside, and of course once you catch the right angle, it creates an illusion as if there's no glass at all. The dial comes in two versions, the Orion 1 Red and the Orion 1 Blue that we are looking at here. Both are set in matte black with the main color difference showing by the 100 meters slash 330 feet text marking above the 6 o'clock. In addition, the blue version has tiny little blue dashes by each hour marking. Printed through the center is a crosshair style lining that adds some character. We have applied indices all around with triangular markings at the 12, 3, 6, and 9. The 12 o'clock triangle is slightly larger than the rest, causing it to pop. Powering this piece is the very popular, respectable NH35. This movement has been featured on the channel many times, and I have no complaints as it is an extremely dependable movement. It's 21 joules, is hackable, offers automatic and manual winding, power reserve of 41 hours, and a sweeping second hand that runs at 21,600 beats per hour. Orion has paired this piece to a black crocodile leather print strap with white stitches and a sterile stainless steel brushed buckle. It has plenty of slots to fit a wide variety of wrists, and the leather band is thick, curved, and perfectly fitted to the case with no spacing. The case back is very minimalistic, but it's finished with a quality circular brush pattern. But let's go ahead and cut to a loom shot. The luminous treatment has been added to the hands and hour indices. It's not super bright, but it will definitely get the job done. Here we have a side-by-side -side shot with an American quarter to give you a better representation of scale. Here's a shot on my 6.75 inch wrist. Now because of the extra long lugs, this piece does wear a little bit bigger than a 38 millimeter normally would. Depending on what you like and your wrist size, that could be a good or a bad thing. It definitely curves comfortably around the wrist, has plenty of class, and I personally would have no problem wearing this watch. With that said, let's go ahead and cut to some outdoor shots so I can show you that natural light reflection.
All right, guys, that's gonna wrap up this Orion One Blue review. If you guys are interested in this piece, remember to check the link to the Orion website down below in the description. Thanks for watching this video. I really do appreciate you guys, and I'll see you in the next one.